replacing my Honda 2006 Odyssey um, transmission water mounts and also the engine so this is um, so jack up the car you know put the, the jack stand and then make sure it's a so, uh, you had the <clears throat> The wheel chucks on the back, so then your car doesn't make sure the have the rear brake too. And uh, I'm already working on this side, um, as you can see, it has one, two, where my finger is right there. It has two fourteen right there. And as you can see, right here on the bottom, underneath, it has two uh, twelve, I do believe. And um, let me see, no, two fourteens, two fourteens, uh, two nuts, and um, and those are two, uh, two fourteen, two fifteens, uh, uh, bolt that goes that holds the bracket right here onto the transmission. There is two only. Right there. All the way in the back right there. And one right there. So, check out your car and then support your transmission with the block, with the piece of wood right here, with the jack stand, and then check up a little bit your uh, transmission, only a transmission. So then uh, this bracket comes out easily. So, once you lose all those two balls and those two nuts in the bottom right here you should be able to take your uh, transmission motor mount out you see right there very easy so let me show you the new one so <clears throat> this is my new one so just line up this uh, new uh, transmission mount Pull your two nuts first. Don't tie them up all the way up, and then uh, and then um, lower your transmission so you can line up these uh, 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 bolts, and then just snag them. Don't tie them too much. Um, so I'm not just I'm not just gonna say it like that because I have to replace the the uh, engine mount, which is somewhere here over my my block is somewhere here and then I'm gonna replace the more uh, also the motor mount uh, for the engine the big one which is somewhere down there so I'll show you later on <clears throat> So as you can see I lower the transmission and you can raise it up and lower it down uh, you can play it so you can so you can line up these uh, bolts right here so I put already this one right here I just need to tie it up and then uh, this one right here uh, should be able to line up okay, so. there you go right there Try them by by hand if you keep. so then you don't strip them. <clears throat> Once you got the feeling, okay, then yes. Don't use power tools on this side because this uh, the thread is very uh, very soft. So you don't wanna um, strip them. 
So once you get to the the end, just kind of like snag him. I don't have the torque specification right now, but maybe I can tell you later on. So just for that, I'm just gonna snag him right now because I need to <coughs> keep raising it up and uh, the two nuts right here that goes right here on underneath I'm just gonna put them on later on so then so um I'm gonna work on the next one which is um, uh, this part right here this one right here So this one goes uh, somewhere like that. Something like that. Yeah, it has two nuts on the bottom and it has two bolts that are right there. You see with my fingers right there. And one one side on this side and one on the other side. So I do believe I had to remove probably this cover right here so then I can have access to the bone. Second transmission motor mount uh, working on right now. Uh, so uh, let me try to show you right here. So I already took out the the, the nuts on the bottom which are right here Down here and um, so then that gives me more play to raise up the transmission so then I can I can take out these uh, two uh, bolts let's see uh, you can see right there one is almost I almost got one which is down right here and uh, I'm working on this other one which is on the other side which I have my wrench right here my ratchet here like that. so take out this one right here I can do it by hand no I don't think you know Anyways, so I'm gonna be losing this one. Maybe I can do this by hand. No, this one. Okay, there we go. There you go. One, fourteen. Should be my motor mount should be able to slide off. See like that. you do is 
the, the old one with the new one to see if they match which they do the shape so just go ahead and install the new one Pull my camera down so then I can. Uh, there we go. Oh, right there. See? So nice. Very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and. Okay, I'm sorry for my recording, but I'm going to have to. Recording sure <laughs> So like that you see just put the two bolts and then drop out down your uh, transmission lower your transmission Jack uh, of your jack and then uh, you should line up on these two holes right there yeah. and then put your two bolts uh, I mean your two nuts and uh, <clears throat> So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those two bolts right there, okay? So as you can see, now I line up my two bolts right here. I'm just gonna snag them by hand. Now. Just too slowly. One at a time. This is my ratchet because it got stuck a little bit. So just work this more mount from from the top right here. This one comes from the top too. Both I mean come from the top. So anyways, so once you've done finishing uh, all these two, um, make sure you drop your uh, transmission slowly, little by little, so 
so you can line up these two they should be a line up by uh, themselves but um, you'll make sure in fact I think there's they already in the hole this one right there on the part see right there so you can move them too but it should be able to slide down a little bit so once you uh, see my finger right there that's what I want the, the other two ball, uh, nuts should be going so it should be done with this second one I'm gonna I'm not gonna try this one and I, I, I didn't do that too on the one here in the front to uh, because I ha had to replace the motor mount which is on the other side in the middle okay so then I have more um, I have more plate to go up and down um, raise up my engine okay guys <clears throat> working on the rear motor mount for the engine so it has four bolts four fourteens and which are on the soft frame right here one two right there so it basically under the under the pipe one two um Three right there and four. Four of these four fourteens. So take them out and then unplug your uh, unplug your uh, connector. Put it on the side. I already lose this uh, four fourteens for the bracket right here, which is one in the front. Two right here. I will take it off. Okay, and then three right here on the back. Uh, should be one more right there. Let's see if I can show you. All right, right here. And. Uh, And four right here, on, which is on this side. This is the this is the hard one right here to get it. This one right here, all the way in the back. We don't have not too much play, but um, what I use, I use uh, this ratchet, and it has this angle. So, so it wasn't that hard, but uh, it's a ratchet and should be able to. To pick it up. So therefore, for on the bottom, for on the top, that this uh, this bracket is holding uh, the motor mount right here, and then <clears throat> after that, uh, you see, lose this right here. This bolt that is uh, attached to the engine block, and then raise up your uh, your engine from the bottom right here from the oil pan and then put a piece of blocks uh, wood so then you don't mess up your your oil pan and you should be able oh well, I should be able to slide this uh, this bracket right here out first and then the motor mount itself so okay I'm gonna go ahead and Take this out and then take this uh, whole assembly out so I can show you how it's mounted on the, on the car. So, okay, guys, this is the main reason I had to replace my motor mounts, is because uh, as you can see, I already took the ball out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to show you what happened here. Um, so every time I will like move forward or put reverse, the whole engine will shake, like kind of like when you're crossing or going over a bumper, uh, I mean a bump. So that thing will like kind of like make a click, like something is like rubbing metal to metal, like. So uh, this bottom mount, especially this one, has a lot of weight, carries the all the uh, motor, the engine. So it breaks 
you see right here this is the second time I play I replaced this uh, motor mount uh, uh, so might as well I just went ahead and I'm gonna replace the, all of them around because this is my car uh, so this is kind of like stupid the way they <laughs> well they build things up you know to last not too long so they can make keep making money but anyways this bracket that's what it holds onto the um, onto the engine right here engine block which is right here so it breaks all the time like so it got detached from the motor mount itself which is right here I can show you maybe I can show you better when it's out um, so uh, right here I can show you what the new one the new one is right here so basically it got detached from from here so this part is right here so this part broke you see right there this thing broke and it breaks you see how brittle it is so anyway so that's the main reason i'm replacing my motor mounts because i can't stand my car like and it's also it's not safe that's mainly for safety okay so i'm just gonna go ahead raise up my engine and then uh, take this uh, bracket out and the motor mount itself okay Okay guys, uh, in order to lose the bracket right here on the bottom, uh, you have to take this, uh, you have to take out this uh, 10 millimeter right here on the back. So we took it out, so then you have, so you, so you can move this bracket right here. And I'm gonna go on the other side to see what am I gonna do next. Um, So this is where I'm at right now. Um, as you can see, the motor mount is loose already. Yeah. And this bracket right here. So you don't have to remove this uh, little bolt right here, it's just the one on the back. So this uh, bushing can, you can move it like without losing it. So anyways, what I'm going to do is just try to slide this on the side and just leave it in, in place. If not, then I have to take it out. I'm most likely I'm going to be able to slide it on the side and just kind of wiggle this thing around. You see, this uh, this cover, you have to transfer to the new one. And as you can see, there is not much space here. So this is, and it goes right here. So I don't know if we, okay, if I'm not able to show you, but you see right here, right here, right here, and right here, that goes inside. It kind of assembles on top of the, this uh, bracket that has the, that holds the motor mount in place. So, you see, just gonna go and wiggle this thing around. I should be able to take it out. I just need to use my other hand so then I can finish doing this. Okay. Okay, at this point I'm almost done uh, fighting this motor mount. Uh, so I took the little bracket that I was holding here, this right here, this stand, and then the bracket, which is down here. So it came on this side, it came out on this side, just laid it like this way and tilted and it comes out. And so like, of course I had to, I have my 
my engine raised up so so after that step I had to lower my engine a little bit oh because this motor mount this uh, rubber uh, thing was on the way I was rubbing here on the against the the car right here the side uh, firewall right here so then by raising it by lower it down this thing let me take it out easily now so as you can see now most likely I'm, I'm I will be able to take out my my model now so this part here that's what it was probably right there so just take this out and transfer uh this plastic uh rubber cover on the new one Most like I have to raise up a little bit of my my engine so then I can have a little bit of more play. So this is uh, where the motor mount sits right here. You see right there? Uh, let's see. Right there where my finger is. Yeah, right there. So it goes inside. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out and So, ah, motor mount, free motor mount is out. So this is the new one I'm gonna install. This is the old one right here. So basically, this one goes right here, and this one goes right here, and has uh, four 14s uh, to go right there. And, um, so all the way around four and um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, remove these two uh, I would say they're probably 16 yeah 16 probably and uh, let's see Seventeen, I do believe. Seventeen, those two seventeens right here, and then I'm gonna transfer this uh, this plastic cover onto the new one. And this is what it broke. This piece right here. So it goes like that. So as you can see, right there, this is right there. That's what it breaks most of the time, right here. See right there, it broke. So, so this part attaches on the engine block. This thing right here, with uh, with I believe it's a 14, so like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and re uh, re uh, transfer this cover on this one, and I should do pretty much everything in reverse. <clears throat> Transfer my bracket. Like that. See so your connector right there. The connector right here. So this thing goes like that. Make sure it sits on this little bracket right here. Right there. You see? And the plastic right here on the bottom. Right here too. And, and this little loop right here. Okay. Let's see. 
There you go, like that. And this one is okay. And just make sure everything is like sitting on those little ridges. Just like that. And everything looks pretty good. So just put your So this is where your connector is, so see the new one right there. So this is pretty much ready to get installed back on the car. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my um, motorman first and then my bracket and then I'm just gonna like line up this and then the bolts on the bottom uh, right here and then the ones on the bottom. Okay, so this is how it should be sitting on the car. So your car is driver side, uh, passenger side. So it goes like, it should be going like that. Okay, because your connector is, you should be facing, your connector should be facing this way, not the other way. Okay. Okay guys, so at this point, I'm done with the, the motor mount right here on the top, not done, but like putting in the back on the little bracket that holds the, the motor mount right there. So, I think I'm gonna use my phone this side. So, I'm gonna try to show you. You see right there the metal bracket right there where my finger is? So, make sure the plastic thing goes all the way in the back. You can play it like on, all the here in the back. So, it sits right there. See, once you see this little uh, bracket right there, sitting on top of the block right there, and lining up all your little plastics on the side, like right there on the wall right here too. Just go ahead and uh, put your 14, your 14 millimeter bolt, bolt and. Uh, Don't tie it up, just maybe like halfway down, and then um, so you can have plates, so then you can put uh, your bracket, uh, which is right here, and it goes this way. Means, uh, what am I? Right there. We says uh, right there. This R R means rear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this bracket, and then uh, we can go from there. <clears throat> okay, guys. I'm pretty much done working on the motor mounts uh, here on the back, the rear one. So I'm just gonna show you the tricky part is not to line up these two, but to line up the bolts. So you kind of have to play with your jack floor, like raise up your engine up and down. Uh, so in order to um, to line up this bolt, this wall right here, just have, you just leave a little bit of clearance here so that you can have more so the bracket is kind of like matching the holes with the brackets, these two brackets, the motor mount and the bracket right here. So then, uh, so if you have it like too high, then 
the ball uh, won't even get to this bracket and also it's gonna be way off so the more you lower it down the more it's gonna be centered to the hole on the bracket so um, I left like maybe like five centimeters so then it lines up pretty good like even the one in the back right here it just went uh, just by hand like really easily so all you have to do is just uh, uh, light them up and then this one the bracket right here itself on the bottom don't uh, don't tie it just kind of leave it loose so then you have play so your bracket is loose too so you have to uh, you have play here on the bracket and on the motor mount itself so then you can line up these two bolts and then just snag these bolts here on the bottom the four ones so um, once you line up this uh, you can go ahead and um, tie up these ones on the bottom and um, and then these ones or whichever you want uh, first so I'm gonna go do this first and I'm gonna drop down the engine so then I can tie up these ones on the bottom and uh, plug my connector and this one that um, that um, attaches to the engine block I already uh, torque it um, tie it up and um, so don't put too much uh, force uh, on this one because those things are very brittle and uh, so I should be done with this uh, motor mount so okay now I'm completely done putting the motor mount uh, rear motor mount on the uh, right here so just double check your work make sure you tie the this is very important for this one the one that attaches to the engine block make sure you double check all your work make sure you don't lose any bolts loose and those four right here uh, I mean right here one two three and four I use my 10 millimeter ratchet and it's a reversible one so you can use this angle or you can use the other one um i use this angle like that so this one is works pretty good on this on this for this work for this kind of job so four bolts and then four on the bottom right here which is one one right here where my finger is two three and four or four teens. so make sure you bolt this four from the top and the one on the motor mount plug your um, your connector and then put your 10 right here and then there is another 10 that goes on the bottom on the back right here somewhere here we uh, hold the bracket right here so at this point I'm done with this motor mount and I was like I was saying earlier um, I'm just gonna go ahead and and tie these two and these two right here for the two uh, mounts for the transmission so then so then I I can be done by now all right. Okay guys, I just finished removing the, this, the upper bracket for the, I make a little mark so, so I know where it's going to be pointing at. Um, so this is the bracket I was holding the, right there, it was this plastic right here, so you have to uh, put it back onto the uh, new motor mount and um, so I took this bracket so now I'm just gonna go ahead and lose the four bolts that are holding the the motor mount and this is also the main one that is gonna be 
that is holding the right where my finger is this finger right there this holding the bracket that is attached to the engine okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove this plastic and then uh, So you can see this FR, FR from rear. So it's gonna go that way. So just put this pieces back in here. You can see now the bolts are exposed already, which is gonna be right there, one right there, one right here, four. So you have to use one of those swivel uh, extensions so then you can reach, especially the one in the back right there. So then you can have a, a little bit of place to be able to take out those four bones. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the, the bones. After you took the four the four bones, just raise up your uh, your um, engine. You, and as you can see. Um, you see, so you, um, pretty much able to move this model mount and slide it. And like, I'm gonna have to stick it out somewhere here. I'm gonna make some space here for this model mount to come out. So maybe I can just bend this out of the way, so it's more space right here. Let's see, by bending this, but you can always just like unplug your your sensor right here. On. Light it up. As you can see, guys, as you can see, guys, I took off the battery, and here is the monster coming out. So this is how I took. I'm taking it out. Just kind of like Let's see. There you go. So this hose just kind of like push a little bit this way, so then you have more more uh, room to play with the motor mount. So you can see that's where it sits. So raise up your uh, engine for the jack stand. You can see it set up. Put it on your uh, put a piece of wood right there so you don't mess up your in your engine. Bend anything there. So. Raise it up, and so at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and install the new one, which is right here. So I'm just gonna try to put the same way I took it out. So yes, always compare the two model mounts. And as I can see, it matches everything. The plug, and the plug on the other side too. So, here we go. So, um, one of the symptoms that my, my car was doing is when you're braking, the steel wheel, the steel, the wheel steering, it was vibrating and shaking. So, so that's them. So this is. This motor mount is pretty much out. Like 
Let me see if I can show you. See right here. easily versus this one the new one it's pretty solid sometimes uh, those things break too from here right here so the same like the one in the back so but this one is for sure out so, here we go okay at this point I'm done putting the motor mount I torque everything in place including the one the bracket that goes onto the engine and this bracket right here put the plastic all around it see those little edges right there make sure they go in the grooves see right there around the bracket and then just put this back in here So in order to take the motor mount, um, you had to do a lot of, a lot of taking apart things. Uh, I took this uh, shield, all the little creeps right there. Be, um, make sure you have some extra ones because those things break. So I took this part right here and. Um, to get access to this uh, little bracket right here that holds the radiator, you can see it's loose, and uh, so those are held by uh, two tens. So you can see right there is nothing. So the reason I took them out is to have more plate, so then I can have uh, more plate to. Uh, to take out the motor mount and also to get access to the bolts for the motor mount so at this point I'm almost done putting everything back in place so as you can see it just goes right there Good. ten two tens and uh, so also you have to take to take out uh, one of the coils which is this one so you have access to the one of the ports down there so and those and this bracket right here that I was talking about earlier is that the 14 and a 10 down there two and then uh, the whole bracket comes out and then you just unplug your sensor your auto sensor and plug your uh, uh, you plug for the motor mount too as well so it's pretty basic just uh, a bunch of things that you have to take out even the battery I took it out so just uh, just pretty much uh, do whatever you need to do and uh, so at this point I think I'm done with the front one, which is the last one I'm gonna be doing. I have another one right here, but this one is looks okay. So I think I'm done with this job. I replaced the 
the back, the two for transmission, and the front one. So four. I'm not gonna replace that one because that one is seems to be okay. Um, so this is the old one I will show you earlier. So those bolts are this one and that one right there is are and this one are easier to get but this one is kind of hard to get the back so you have to kind of like play and use one of those swivel uh, extensions so then you can you can uh, you can reach behind it so after that everything comes pretty easy all right thanks for watching guys uh, and subscribe and and um, and yes send me a message text me to uh comment on my on my page so then i can maybe help you out i'm gonna put on the description link uh where i bought the model mounts and so you can buy i pay for like 150 bucks maybe for the whole thing comparing to the OEM which is over a thousand dollars maybe two thousand <laughs> so anyways I'm done cheers